Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for Jazby's Hobbyland. That's what we're doing here. 2018 Prism World Cup Soccer. World Cup this week. We are doing random country break number 11 from jazbeeshobbyland.com, as you saw right here. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. There are the countries right here. There's the spreadsheet. And don't let me forget the... Uh, I have to randomize for the promo, um, which will be a different dice roll at the end. All right, we're going to randomize each of those two lists that we just saw. Six and a five, 11 times. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then final time. After eleven times, we've got Lee Cheeseman on top, and a couple Rorys in the twenty-five and twenty-six spot. And then once again, six and a five, eleven times for the teams or the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, and 11 the final time. After 11 times, we've got Denmark, Egypt on the pole, and England in the 26th spot. The three Lions. All right, so Lee with the Denmark-Egypt combo. Jason with Italy-Iran. Chris Yates, Poland-Peru. Daniel with Iceland, Wales, Switzerland, Tunisia going to TJ. Daniel with Spain, Australia for and Belgium for Jerome. Belgium being like the the trendy pick to win the World Cup. Daniel with Austria, Chile. Jason Lott with Mexico. Daniel Patero with the United States. Can't believe we're not in it, Daniel. Tampa Bay Sports Card uh, Depot. We got an entire depot here gets, getting Uruguay and Croatia. Sean with Nigeria, Panama. Chris Yates with CR7. Daniel Patera, Last Spot Mojo, Serbia, Senegal, and Russia. Daniel Patera with Germany, Argentina for Jason Lahner. Uh, Greg, you have Colombia, Sweden for Sen Yin, Carlos with Netherlands, Morocco, Alan with Brazil, Josh with Norway, Saudi Arabia, Sean with France, Japan, Korea for Greg, and Rory got the last two, Costa Rica and England. There you have it. Let's alphabetize by team. Any trades? Uh, and the so here's the here's the four boxes right here. And Prism World Cup twelve, which is the final four box of the case and our last break of the promo, already sold out. So we're going to be doing the promo randomizer in a little bit too. Looks like no trades. No trades, huh? All right, let's print and rip. Yes, sir, Rory. Harry Kane is England. Along with Raheem Sterling. You might want him, too. All right, there's the final list. Good luck, everybody. Folks, I'll, I'll drop this link in the chat. If you look at our break menu, our latest break menu, I have my tentative World Cup picks for entertainment purposes only, but I've got tentative World Cup picks there. So check it out. Yeah, and values of this stuff will start to skyrocket, folks, especially for the bigger name players because uh, well, because it's, it's World Cup season now. Rory saying that some dude at his local car shop, his LCS, hit a Harry Kane gold vinyl non-auto, and it went for over five hundred dollars. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. Not every one of these boxes has autographs, ladies and gentlemen. Some of them will just have those low number parallels, but yeah, it can go for a lot. England to win the World Cup. They are 16 to 1, I believe, plus 1,600 for entertainment purposes only, of course, folks. But that's actually not a bad 
it's a, that's actually not a not bad value if you think about it. They've got a good team. They, they just have to put it all together. And I think this is the first year, the first World Cup in a very long time, where the expectations for the team aren't like sky high. <laughs> Previous World Cups, England just freaks out, and they're just like, this is the year, we've got these superstars, this is where it all comes together, blah, 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 and then, you know, then it's then it shambles, and it's sad times, and they have a pants World Cup, you know, but this year, there's like no expectations, <laughs> everyone's just like, okay, yeah, let's see what these guys can do, a lot of younger players, so a lot, a lot of those previous generation... Um, you know, a lot of the previous generations, you know, will think, uh, are, are kind of out. And so a new generation is sliding in. So we'll see. Uh, Jerome saying, it's cool that I picked Mexico over Germany. Well, listen, those picks right there, ladies and gentlemen, remember, um, uh, when, if you're, if you're, are, are the type of person that enjoys to put down a, a, a penny or two on a sports game, we're really looking for value. You know, it's not necessarily what I think is going to happen, but what it but has a good chance of happening and it has good value to make some money back. Uh, Germany's so heavily favored in that group that you would have to sp like spend a lot to try to make a lot. I don't know if it's worth it. You know, you could spend less on Mexico and see if they could win the group at plus five fifty. I think that's there's good value there. All right. Let's find some good value in here, folks. Daniel Sturridge leading us off. There's Allison, Brazilian keeper, who's been linked to my club, Liverpool. I know everyone everyone is uh, always up on the latest club soccer news. And I know everyone saw the big news where they're like, oh, Allison to Liverpool? They, they do need a keeper after the horror show in uh, the Champions League final. This guy's pretty good. I wouldn't mind that at all. <laughs> all right, now some of these parallels, they are going to ship, but I'm just kind of breezing by them because they, they are not serial numbered. And what is this? Whoa, 2 out of 10? Wow. wow. Two out of 10, a dual autograph for Portugal. Chris Yates, wake up, Chris Yates. That card is gold for sure. That's Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7, and William Carvalho. Two out of ten. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty crazy right there. That's it's a good time to get that. World Cup season, folks. All they really have, Portugal, is Cristiano Ronaldo, right? I actually think – I don't think it's actually going to happen, but I think you can make the argument that there is some value to Portugal not advancing at plus 300, which is what I have right now. Now, I don't think it's actually – it might not actually happen, but it, but there is value there in that in that wager. Everyone's always thinking, hey, Argentina could do it, right? Lionel Messi. That's an interesting situation there too. They struggled to uh they struggled to qualify. I think it took their last qualifying match to get into the World Cup. They narrowly <laughs> they narrowly got in. So now maybe that that woke them up. Maybe it didn't, I don't know. Egypt's chances all settle on Liverpool's striker Mohamed Salah. He uh he separated his shoulder in the Champions League final, which pretty much sunk my club's chances of, of getting anything. But if he's healthy, or at least can play game one, that would be kind of huge. They play Uruguay. There's Daniel Sturridge for England. I don't know how much he's going to play, but he always seems to have a little injury here and there, Rory. But 
He can always score a brilliant goal here and there. 98 out of 149. Oh, Rory, you see some gold? Maybe right down there? I don't know if that's that. Is that gold? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Wait, what was that number two again? Oh, out of 149. There you go. So yeah, these ones aren't numbered either, but they will still ship. It's just these commons that won't ship. That stuff obviously will ship. Let's see how Mexico does. I think they should be able to get out of their group comfortably. I, I, I have them as a sort of a longer shot to actually win the group. But they should get out of the group comfortably, I think. Had a little a little bit of drama. L3. But I, I think I would think that I would think that they should be able to get out of there. Because it's just Germany, because Sweden's okay. Korea is not Korea is not ha does not have a good team. They've got a lot of individuals that are playing well. That are, and a lot of them and, and some individual Korean players who are in the Premier League, the English Premier League, and they they are playing very well. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think Mexico should advance pretty comfortably. But we'll see if El Tree can continue after that. And that's been so, sort of their curse. Uh, yeah, all, all variations, short prints, inserts, blah, 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 all that, all that will ship. Nice. Eric Jennings, who has another story about how, how great this value is, sold a Leroy Sané gold power prism out of five for 300 bucks the value of this stuff is great we'll try to get some more i think we have one more case i'll have to double check wait are they taking are they taking leroy sané to the world cup or did they say do they eventually say no? All right. There's Mesut Ozil for Germany. And then we've got Milik for Poland. Poland always plays teams tough. That goes to the Poland-Peru combo. That goes to Chris Yates, 137 out of 140. And Chris Yates, of course, with Portugal. There's Mohamed Salah. Uh, TJ is asking about Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins definitely on everyone's roster. And Robin Olsen for Sweden. That goes to Senyin. 006 out of 125. Um, well, that's the controversy. Rory. Rory's asking, is Leroy Sané a good player? He is. He had a great season for Manchester City. Um, so I think it was a, it was a bit of a shock that uh, he's German. There's a bit of a shock that Germany left him off the team. I wonder, I mean, you know, 
Germany's like, we got enough. Chicharito will be a big be a big part of the Mexico team. Um, I don't know. I guess they're saying we don't need Leroy Sané. Uh, we don't need him. Team's already good enough. There's Blas Perez for Panama. 105 out of 199. I think he's pretty young, though. I was just looking him up. I was just seeing how old he was. He's only 22 years old. So he's got a... Uh, He's got two, there he is right there. He's got two or three World Cup cycles in him. We got Deli Alley for England. 14 out of 40. Nice low number there. Big playmaker. Rory for Tottenham. Hotspur. And for England, of course. Dazzling displays. He's pretty exciting. He's pretty fun to watch. Tim Cahill. Remember that goal Tim Cahill scored four years ago? Fifty one out of one twenty five. Tysir Al Jasim. I don't think Saudi Arabia has a shot at, at anything. Sorry, Saudis. That's out of one twenty five. Not sorry to whoever has Saudi Arabia. Where is Saudi Arabia on this? Oh, Josh Pruce. With the Norway Saudi Arabia combo spot. In Golokante and Olsen at the end. Alright, two more boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. First World Cup match, folks, is at 8, 8 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday. 8 a.m. Pacific on Thursday. With the host country, Russia, versus Saudi Arabia. So that should be a fun one. I don't know if I'm going to be awake for that one. That might be a that might be a DVR game. I think Fox has the World Cup, right? So Fox and all of it, all of their Fox affiliates should have should have the matches for everybody. I have uh, TJ says he says I say the Saudis pull it off. They could they 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 don't have they change managers I think a couple times. And I don't think they have a lot of players like in, in other like, like at least like Mohamed Salah is like playing Liverpool, right? At least Koreans have a few players in the English Premier League and other other like major European leagues. I don't know if there's a lot of Saudi players in a lot of the major European leagues. But if they pull it off, that'd be quite an upset. I actually don't know what the what the individual match odds are. Correct. The only match on the first day, Eric Jennings. Absolutely. I think the host country usually gets like the... I think it's prime time for them. I think it's like a night match. I think they're like 10 hours ahead or something like that. So 8 a.m. my time. I think 8 a.m. my time. It would be about 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. I think. Around there. I think it's in Moscow. So I think that's 10 hours ahead. Um, but yeah, they usually get... The host country usually gets their their own night host country usually gets out of their group ladies and gentlemen i don't think except for the south african team in 2010 i think maybe even before that but i think the the south african team was the only team that didn't uh that hosted the world cup that did not advance i think they're better at rugby anyway but um But they did not. But everyone else has, and Russia actually may have may have a good, decent chance to advance to maybe even win the group as well. All right, there's Coutinho, there's Ki Sung Young, 
177 out of 199 for South Korea. There's Pedro. This one goes to, who has South Japan, Korea? Greg Morgan with that one. I actually, as a value pick, again, not saying I think this is going to happen. I think there's, but as a possible value pick, I took uh, Russia to win the group at plus 200. All right. The autograph, I think, is going to be, ah, Blanco right there. Cuauhtémoc Blanco for Mexico, for L3. That goes to Jason Lahner. I think I'm, uh, I'm going to have to support the, the Mexicans, I think, in this World Cup. Just, just to support someone from North America, I guess. Canada's not in it. I guess I could go Costa Rica. Folks, on the uh, on the break menu, ladies and gentlemen, there's Cristiano Ronaldo insert. On our break menu, I also have the the dates and times for all of the game one of three match groups as well, Pacific and Eastern times. There's Yom Ki Hun, twenty eight out of sixty five. Another Korean insert parallel for uh, Greg and the Japan Korea combo. Is that some gold right there? Maybe? No. That's just the color that's just the color of the team right there. I got fooled. Didn't it kind of look like it? Unbelievable. Yeah. No number. Alright, last box coming up and then another break of Prism World Cup. And then after that we'll see who the winners are of uh, the promo and what group they're going to get randomized. Remember this? Still pretty thrilled about that. Who does everyone have to win the World Cup? I found some value plays. My value plays for the World Cup. Winners. Outright winners. I've got... Oh, thank you, TJ. Yeah. I gotta randomize these names right here for the promo. Um, my value plays Spain. It doesn't seem like a value play, but they're six to one. Spain plus six hundred. France plus seven hundred. I think those are the safer bets right there. I mean, I think the the favorites are like Brazil, Germany. I think maybe one other team I'm, I might be forgetting one other team maybe it was Spain but I think Brazil Germany seem to be the favorites there are sli slightly better odds than uh, Spain and France but then Spain and France are close behind plus 600 Spain plus 700 for France and as my sort of longer shot plays Belgium at plus 1100 I think that's 11 to 1 and England plus 1600 16 to 1. I think England are in a relatively easy group. They should advance relatively easily. And then I have to look at the brackets to see who they'll eventually meet. I think someone in group H, which is a weak group, so they should advance pretty relatively easily. Even if they're runner ups of group G, they'll win the winner of group H, which should be like Poland or Colombia. They should be able to advance from there and then and then march on. But they got to get their act together. You know, all, always a lot of expectations, oh, except for this year, but always a lot of expectations from them. Always a lot of great individual talent. If they put it all together, they've got the talent to win it. 
They just, they just have to have a little bit of luck on their side and just have really consistent performances across 90 minutes. And of course, every club has to avoid any sort of major injury to anybody. <laughs> Rory says... He thinks whoever's going to win is whatever biggest hit he has out of any of the soccer product. Either, either that, or if I if he wins a promo spot, any team in that group. All right, last box right here. Good luck, everybody. Strong four boxes thus far. There's Chicharito. There's Andre Carrillo of Peru. 11 out of 149. That goes to the Peru Poland combo, Chris Yates. Carlos Vila. Christian Eriksen, big part of that Danish team. Iceland could, could surprise some people. They had a great uh, Euros campaign. And there's Manuel Neuer. Three out of 15. Nice low number for Germany. Who's got Deutschland? Daniel Patera with the Germans. The Z Germans. Three out of 15. So I think that might be the low numbered card. Because it's either a low numbered card like that or an autograph. That might be it. Filip Kostic for Serbia. 54 out of 125. Who's got Serbia in this one? That'll be for Daniel Patera. Last spot mojo. There's Otamendi. Roman Torres, Gonzalo Higuain, Eric Dyer for England. And we've got Granite Zaka, 88 out of 125 for the Swiss. Who's got Switzerland in this one? That'll be for TJ. Yeah. T oh, TJ, you, you're a Welshman, TJ. TJ has uh has Wales. Maybe if there's another parallel in here, Gareth Bale would be nice. Is Neymar gonna be healthy for the World Cup? I think he is, right? There's Diego Godin for Uruguay. That goes to Tampa Bay Sports Car Depot. I guess that's an entire depot joining our breaks, folks. 14 out of 65 on that one, TB. Victor Moses, and looks like that. There's Gerard Pique, Mr. Shakira. I think they're still married, right? And that's it, folks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tom Jones is a, a Welshman. I just don't want to presume that you were also Welsh because of the same name, TJ. All right, so now the randomizer to see who gets into the promo, second to last spot in the promo. There's everyone's names right there. Let's randomize that list. One and a four, five times. Good luck, everybody. One and a four, two, three, Four and fifth and final time name on top. That'll be Rory. There you go, Rory. You're in the promo. You're gonna get randomized a group a little bit later. Thanks everybody. Congrats to Rory. Thanks everyone else. Joe for JaspiesHobbyland.com. We will see you next time.